knew that Ray Davis was a, a lyrical influence? Um, you know what? I, 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 I can't exactly say he, he was because I didn't uh, particularly own a lot of Kinks albums. You know, I have a couple, but I didn't uh, identify with his lyrics that much, you know, until, you know, maybe recently I've gotten more interested in it. But uh, it was kind of funny. We played a show in New Orleans a few months back. We got there, and the uh, we, they said some rented equipment for us, and it was it was all broken and everything, and uh, we couldn't get it together. Uh, I couldn't tune the guitar, so it was just a mess, you know. And it was a tiny little place, and they didn't have a sound man, and it was just obviously going to be a bad show. And then the bartender says, "Oh, look, Ray Davies is here," and he just walked in. <laughs> like, oh it's no, like <laughs> the worst, you know, <laughs> the worst time for for him to walk in, I guess. So it was funny because I don't really pay attention to the crowd very often when we play a show, but we had played a couple of songs and all of a sudden I looked out and I kind of saw Ray Davies standing out there. <laughs> and for the first time in my life, I couldn't stop looking in that direction the whole show. I don't know why. Just, uh, I don't know. But after it was done, he just went and walked away. I didn't, I didn't talk to him, but I didn't just give some sort of thumbs up to <laughs> us. <laughs> At least I he's being so. polite. Um, <laughs> and, well, in terms of influence, I kind of thought, I mean, Ray Davis, his songs were very kind of storytelling, and then that's the comparison. I think so, yeah, I think so. Really good at uh, Village Green Preservation Society. That record I really like a lot. Yeah. Then we move on to the new single, Hotel Yorba. Mm -hmm. um, I heard you tell Zane earlier you've been banned from the hotel itself, even though you've mm -hmm. given them worldwide fame. Yeah. It's it's pretty. I don't think uh, they're that worried about it. <laughs> I don't think they they didn't really understand that that place. It's we kind went of a vagrant motel, you know. It's like a yeah. It only costs about sixty five bucks for a week to stay there. Yeah. So uh, when we walked in, and we had tried to ask. I think we had met the owner. We were asking just to see what it was about, if we could actually film in there, you know. And then we asked him, "Oh, is, is the owner around?" He's like, "No. What do you want to talk to him for?" I always want to know a little bit about the history of the hotel. Because on a side note, I, I'd always want to know, because when I was a kid, I'd always heard the Beatles had stayed there. It was, was my favorite rumor when I was a kid. So, you know, we had heard that, and uh, we just couldn't find it was true. Anyhow, uh, we got in there. We, we, had to, we ended up renting a room after, like, five tries. They would not get us one. Finally, we walked in there and kind of tricked them into getting a room. We went and recorded uh, a couple songs in the room there. Uh... And then tried to go film there, and it just was a disaster. They just did not understand. They kicked us out, you know, wouldn't let us go back into the room we just rented. It, it turned into a huge fight, and uh, she had tried to come after me with a gun or something. She was looking for this gun. We were having a huge argument, and ended up having this hammer and banging it on the window, and just chasing me out of there. It was just insane. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. They're crazy. I mean, the owner should... Um Bump the prices up because every white stripes <laughs> fan coming through town stay there. Well, it was funny because we ended up because we couldn't film inside. We had to film outside a yeah, couple you shots. See the yeah, and, uh, someone came walking out the front door and we stopped. And the guy who was the cameraman said, "Oh, look, someone's going to come and tell us to get out of here." And this guy walked all the way straight all the way across, and kind of looked like maybe he worked there. He was kind of like uh, rough looking, and uh, he comes across. He says, "Are you the white stripes?" And he <laughs> asked us for an autograph. <laughs> And he, he was just staying there. He was staying at the hotel. We were just laughing. We said, okay. And uh, he said, we were saying, we can't. We're trying to film inside. They won't let us inside. He goes, oh, I'd let you film in my room, but I'd probably get in trouble for that. You know? <laughs> so the, the interiors aren't done at the hotel? We couldn't. They wouldn't okay. let us do it. So we had to do it at another one. You know. Another local hotel? Yeah, it was yeah. just a, about a mile away. So. I've been right song about that hotel. <laughs> No. So they deserve the song. They were really nice yeah, to us. Yeah, changed the name at that point. 